finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. Your weekly look at the big news going around Capital Wrestling. This week, the first major news item is that the first name in our three-way dance on March 25th has been announced. Capital Wrestling Management and our digital media team announced on February 1st that the pain train Preston Quinn would be the first entrant in the three-way dance. And now, we are proud to announce he has some company. Our second old school three-way dance participant is the human rocket, Leon St. Giovanni. Leon St. Giovanni, a New Jersey native who proves that there is infinite worth in putting in hard work and precisely following the best steps to ensure success. He's a trainee at the Monster Factory and the Ring of Honor Dojo, two different facilities that stand not unlike Capital Wrestling as both are firmly rooted in classic traditions and the modern age. Creating that synergy via captivating offensive maneuvers from all angles for the power players in the wrestling industry. He's one of the most buzzed about performers currently today. If you're a Ring of Honor fanatic, you'll know Leon St. Giovanni from his appearance in the promotion's 2016 Top Prospect Tournament. Though unsuccessful in that tournament, it's the primetime experience of being under those national TV lights that has him primed and ready to roll on March 25th at Cathedral Hall. When a human rocket, a pain train, and the yet-to-be-announced third participant collide, there's potential for only the most incredible things to ensue. Two amazing talents coming to Capital Wrestling on March 25th are featured in our main event, but that's not all. They'll be joined by Root Boy Riley, the colossal Mike Law, the hybrid athlete John Kerman, Jeff Cannonball, and more single stars in action at Cathedral Hall. Over this past weekend, Capital Wrestling Management and senior official Mike Keener announced that we've been petitioned by someone debuting in wrestling. This someone will also be part of our roster. They insisted that we announce that Capital Wrestling will be crowning its first ever Capital Tag Team Champions on March 25th. A lot of things to unpack in this announcement by our senior official. And one has to wonder not only how these champions are being crowned, but who's involved in the crowning. Is it the Fella Twins, the New York Wrecking Crew? We've heard rumors of two more tag teams being signed for March 25th for our first taping of Capital Wrestling Digital TV. Will it be a tournament? Also, who's the person making the demands? What impact will they have not only on the tag division, but also on Capital Wrestling in 2017? What are your ideas? Let us know via twitter.com slash capital wrestling, facebook.com slash capital wrestling, and via email capital wrestling at gmail.com. Do not forget to get your tickets now starting at $15 at capitallive.eventbrite. That's B R I T E.com. Also, don't miss out on getting original content, merchandise, and more by signing up for our Patreon page by going to patreon.com slash capital wrestling. Till next time, I'm Andrew Zarian from the Guys from Queens Network, and this has been a view from the Capitol.